Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the Shunsets. It is Thursday afternoon. Tonight is Santino's Showcase. Main event, La Rasa vs. Las Luchas. It's going to be a good show there. I don't know what Bruno Santino has been. He's, he's been off for a little bit. But, I like to respond a little bit to the controversy surrounding DeGener John, Gary Gaff, and stuff. And my response is, who the fuck cares? People are talking about the Sean's two cents. My little web show in this little house in Bellflower, California. Yes, little old me, little 24 year old fan, mark, whatever you want to call me, take shots at me. I'm a big boy. I can take it. Look at me. I am a big boy right here. So, Degenerate John, Bourbon Jimbo, who the, I don't know who the fuck anymore is, but he, he is president of Wrestle, Wrestling. What a great show in Escondido you put on, if, if that's the matter I'm thinking of. And Bourbon Jimbo, you're going on Twitter. And I got I got another thing to talk to you about, Bourbon Jimbo. Ring of Honor, I agree with you. I'm Ring Some Member. I say it for it. I pay for it every month. And Manhattan, Manhattan Mayhem was on Video Demand Tuesday. Awesome show. Solid show. The match was awesome. Whole, uh, Red Dragon versus American was, was fantastic. Kyle Riley is one of the best things going right now. Kyle Riley's the guy you should book. He's killing the PMG. He should be. He'll win the Battle of Los Angeles next week. He's got to win this. Him versus Forfer Radical, that's a match that writes itself. There, and then I was talking to Vic Luna, he's Vic Luna, my friend from IWL, owner of IWL. He said, Sean, you should talk about this Rising Stars. And do you know where Rising Stars are at? CZ fucking W. That's where the stars are at. Shane Hollister, Rich Swan, AR Fox, the Irish Airborne, Blackout. Actually, oh, I forget it there. The CCW has a variety. They have deathmatch main events, which are all not my cup of tea, but they have high flying, hard hitting. And even when DJ I talk shit and stuff, there's still great stuff. Very excellent. Andrew Everett. They even get Dark Sheik from Hood Slam a shot. So you'll see what you'll see crazy amount. Even Tommy Dreamer's there. And CCW New Heights, Peter Boys versus Borloco, one of the best tag team matches of the year. And if you keep saying, oh, I see the CW on Botchamania, well fuck that shit. Go on rvideo.com. I don't care if it's owned by a goddamn pedophile. I don't care. Go on rvideo.com and order yourself a CCW. Best of the best. Alex Cohen won. Alex Cohen's one of the best things going. He's a high flyer. He's, 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 he does great for his size. Very good on the mic and stuff. His theater, Shane Strickland and Air Fox, is great. And also Shane Strickland. Tall, lanky, black guy. who can do flips and stuff. And his, his kicks are lethal. Shane Strickland is a guy that needs to be on the West Coast. And Vic said, guys, I want to speak to me on the West Coast. Shane Strickland, Caleb Conley, Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander is going to, uh, PDVX put him against people like Jay Lethal, Tomasa Champa. And they're, they're putting him against these guys, he's, he's showing them. And he's part of CC Wrestle Factory. What do you guys say? And now I'm ranting about all of you getting to Let me go back to Ring of Honor. Their attacking division is one of the best in the, in the world right now, best in the country. Four Vulcans, Red Dragon, Young Bucks, CC Dust Factory, Adrenaline Rush, and the tag team, tag team titles have changed hands three times in the past three weeks. That just shows you how big that, how great the division is. And for the first time ever uh, in, in a year, the IWGP Junior Tag Team Championships were defended at a Ring of Honor show at Death Force Honor for Hogan's defending against the American Woods. Back to CCW, they have very young talent that you should watch out for. Shane Hollister, Cal Conley, all that. Wrestling is wrestling is great. The Indians are really good right now. Evolve is coming back with their style battle with Josh Alexander going to be on there. And then you have Air Fox and Tony Anthony Nice as their main events. Then the Young Bucks uh, Tag Team Invitational with uh, Pieces of Hate. Uh, the Charlotte and Jigsaw. People got to try to get people from Jakarta. Mr. Touchdown Mark under the city. Tim Dots. All these guys are free agent, free agents that you could probably pick up for a little money. You could probably book them for a little money, and you could have a great show here in West Coast. And, and now, one thing I want to get back get to that people feel uh, said in the whatever the podcast and all that is why don't East Coast people fly in West people? Because there is not a show that showcases West Coast people that the whole wide United States sees. Hollywood. The whole country doesn't see that. Dragon doesn't watch. Gabe doesn't watch that. Nigel doesn't watch that. 
Nigel's here, and he's watching all these guys, and I think Nigel might bring some guys over once in a while. I know TNA's looking at Ole Mac and stuff, but I don't, it's always one guy. Like, Gatson with the best of the best one year. Mac went back east one time. It's always one guy one time. Ray Wilson should be on the East Coast. But I don't think the West Coast guys put in the effort to go back east. Except for Sheik. I had the Sheik Abadu, Sheik. You know who I'm talking about. Ab Abdul Khan, Dark Sheik. And I have my kitty over here. Kitty is here. I'm sorry I'm rambling, but Sheik has put on stuff to go pack his bags, put his backpack on, and go to the East Coast. He's been booked in season. He's been wrestling in Finland. Japan. That's what you got to do if you're a wrestler. You got to get yourself out there. And, and some people are just afraid to go away from their comfort zones. They want to wrestle for the IWL and just the IWL or just Hollywood or just AWS. They don't want to go out of their three hour space. And some guys just don't have the money for it. And I think it comes down to money and location. That's all it is, I think it comes down to. And this is, this is uh, I decided to call my new new show the Sean Sense SoCal Rants and Raves. This is definitely a rant and raving. I might make no damn sense, but I'm going to put on topics. I don't care who the fuck hears me anymore. I, I stopped these, these shows because I pissed some people off. Chris Evans I pissed off. I pissed off this person. I pissed off Sky. I don't care who the fuck I pissed off. I'm a, I'm a, sm I'm a fan. I pay to go to these shows. I'm a paying customer to Ring of Honor, to Dragon Gate, to AWS, to IWL, Santino's. I'm going to pay tonight the $10 tonight, pay $10 tomorrow. I paid $36. Me, my dad, and my sister are going to AWS. So I'm paying customer and I'm allowed. The customer has allowed their voice their opinion, and I do. I might not voice my opinion clearly. And this nervous thing that people say I am, I'm not really nervous. That's just how I am. Whatever. So, basically, go to ADVS Saturday. Jerry Ryan with trouble main events. And also Hudson Envy, Candice Ray, hard for match. I gotta say, Hudson Envy is one of the best women wrestlers right now. Women wrestler right now. She has a look. She's different. She has a vicious side. I really like Hudson Envy. She should be in Shimmer, Shine, anywhere. And it is, it is a travesty that Candice Ray has not gotten the world, the national attention that she does here, but I love Kansas Ray. She's an awesome wrestler, but I'm tired of seeing her on every fucking card. There's other women wrestlers. I'm tired of fucking seeing it. I like Kansas Ray. No disrespect at all, but stop booking Kansas Ray versus this person. Kansas Ray versus this person. She's not the only SoCal wrestler here. Ray's is here. Tara Cowley's here. She's hurt, but she's back. Hudson Envy. There are women wrestlers. You can bring in women wrestlers. Leva Bates. Me, me and Ian was in San Diego. Cheerleader Melissa. There's women wrestlers you can bring in. And the one thing you think my la like, ladies round table is going to be awkward? No, it's not. A ladies round table is going to be really good. You were talking about my last round table. This round table is going to be even better. The ladies are going to get a chance to talk. And I think they're going to have some interest in the say, people. You think it's not going to be good? Well, shut the fuck up. I think it's going to be good. So, people, that is the shot that SoCal Ranch Race number two, people. Number two, I can help my dad out the grocery soon, but I don't know. Watch it if you may, comment if you may, like if you may, dislike, tweet, I don't care. Peace out, people.